getting ready for baseball under the roof in Houston. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. It's baseball on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Justin Verlander gets the start for Houston in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Stepping in, Marcus Simeon. He will lead this Oakland. one off today. The shortstop, Marcus Simeon. First pitch on its way from Verlander. And Here afternoon right. baseball on MLB First Network pitch. is oh. underway. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Marisnik going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Well, looks like they were determined right, right. to be aggressive early. And it almost results Matt. in a home run in Definitely. the first at bat of the game, but he'll settle for a double and hope the number two man can pick him up. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners at with nobody out. The first baseman, Matt Olsen. Hey, not a great start for the pitcher right here. Started off with a double. Now add in a single. And one of your middle of the order bats is coming to the dish. Man, I don't think this was the start he was imagining warming up in the bullpen. Yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, look at the sliding stop on the first to complete the double play. It certainly looked like they might have had a big Mark inning cooking there Hannah. with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. So now it's Mark Canna. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And there's ball two now. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Three and one to him now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a full count for Cannon now. Three balls and two strikes. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting box here in the first, giving up a couple of base knocks on that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. At the ball. A ball and a strike. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? Fastball well outside. And he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mike Fires gets the starting nod for the A's in this one. 
Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that right guy is a little bit up and down yeah. throughout points of his career. A career right ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Anybody that catch your eye, Dan? Well, you no really have here. to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. First offering on its way. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Bases are empty, one man out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Lifted the other way out to left center. Calling for it, Grossman. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Got it third. The Here's the second, second baseman, baseman, Jose Altuve. Okay. His previous history Altuve. with Mike Fires. He's gone two for six. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Now Altuve connects. Deep left field. Grossman going back on it. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll post into second here with a two-out double. Wow, throw a tent over it and bring out the clown. <laughs> Look like a three-ring circus Alex. out there. One outfielder right mistimes his jump, and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. Dane. Here's Jerickson Profar. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander, Verlander to start the inning. The second baseman. Jerickson. First pitch of the at-bat. Profar. And it's fouled away. Slow curveball, like a balloon, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike two. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there, out in front on that off-speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. The 0-2 once more. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Chirinos corrals it, and he Got makes it. the throw to first. Profar is retired, and there's one away. Seven. Here's Robbie Grossman. His line against Robbie. Justin Verlander. He's four for 11. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Four. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. That swung on and missed were even at one and one. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. A swing and a miss there, two and two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Now the A's designated hitter, Chris Davis. Hitter. He'll work on keeping Chris. this top of the second alive. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0-1. Davis, sometimes called Crush with a K and an H. He was selected in the seventh round back in the 2009 MLB draft. 
I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. and A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Striding forward now is the DH, number 44, ready to get his day at the plate started right here. Number 44. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Loriano is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Braves. And I'm locking in on Matt Chapman. Without a doubt, one of the premier defenders in our sport. You know what? He's often compared to his former high school teammate. Bet people didn't know Nolan Arenado and him shared dugouts in high school. He's going to be at the top of the leaderboard this year. Defensive run save. Lock in on him. He's going to make a backhand gem. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. Skied into straightaway right. Loriano is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That is better. Now the, the Cuban import, man. Yuli Gurriel, will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Loriano. And the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Settling in now, Josh Fegley. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side the last inning. How did no. they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Strike one to start the at bat. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 and 2. Ready with another 0 2. And another foul ball. Verlander ready with another 0 2. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semyon. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Simeon in an 0 2 hole here. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious. Two away. First pitch of the at bat. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. Oh. 
too tight with that one. Three and oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's ball looking four. to do damage. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Oh, that's the, open. the first baseman. That'll bring Matt. up the power hitter, Matt Olson. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But that'll ricochet off the facade out there in left center. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Great Al piece of it. hitting here. Men on the first, and they're playing him to pull, Park. but he crosses yeah. them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. Standing in now, Mark Canna, as Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike oh, one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. But the A's get a run on this RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-0 Oakland. Stepping into the box, Robinson Chirinos. Way to go. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three, fouled away. Robinson Chirinos. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. That Robinson Chirinos is sent healer. packing to begin the Jake. bottom of the inning. Marisnik. Here's Jake Marisnik. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Fires is ready. Here's the 0-1. Fouled off. Here's the 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. The next 0 2 is taken for ball one. You know, Maddie, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Here's George Springer. He went down swinging to start the home first. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1 and 0. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get in the chase up above the zone a little bit. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Two out, nobody on. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. It's fouled away. All even at two and two. Here it is. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Digging in for his second at bat, Michael, Michael Brantley. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. 1 and 0 the count. The 1 and 0 delivery. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base.
On now to the top of inning number four. The A's lead this one two to nothing. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. No balls and a strike to count. The wind-up and the 0-1. Into center field, line drive base hit. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter now there. That, he got a hanger in the move. middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees. It's strike one. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes? The 0 1 pitch. And boy, no this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Two things pitchers really love called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk Three. about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. He throws him on the fastball there. Jurickson Profar becomes the first out Left of the field. inning. Robbie Grossman. Digging in the switch hitter, Robbie Grossman, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first oh, at bat. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even That's throws a pitch. Owen. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. The batter. The Here's Chris hitter. Davis now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Set to deliver the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always fine. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One Riding in for Houston, Jose Altuve. He took home the Silver Slugger the Award in the American League okay. a year ago. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. So the bases are empty with Third one man gone. And that'll bring up the LSU Alex. product, Alex Bregman. And he fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. The battle. Now the Astros designated hitter, number 44. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung Not that middle stop. of the plate. Carlos. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put Goodwood on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Loriano will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Striding in once again, Speaking Josh Fegley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Josh Fegley. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. Oh. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's 1 1. Not too often do you see a changeup come across it 
88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus, Marcus. Simeon. Simeon. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. A ball and a strike. Hey, that's just a great pitch right there. Fastball at the bottom of the zone, right under the knee. It's interesting. I was a low ball hitter, so you could take the strike zone and go to the ground with it. I can. Meanwhile, here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center, as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. And now, Matt Chapman. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. I'm set with the 0-1. This is in the air to right. Springer has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So now coming to the plate, Matt the Olson, first. runner in scoring Matt. position with two gone. Olson. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Ah, got him fishing that time. 0 and 1. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Two and one to the A's first baseman. The two one home is taken ball three. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So now two batting. on with two away and striding into Mark. bat next. It will be Mark Canna. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left and the A's add on more. It's now a five nothing game. I know he's a confident pitcher but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater and it cost him big time. Now about it. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's one for two in this one. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman fields it cleanly. Off-balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Well, the A's put up a three spot here thanks to the three-run home run. Middle of the afternoon here in the Lone Star State. It's the A's five and the Astros nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks Matt. I talked with Astros manager A.J. Hinch between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in there at bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0 2 and 1 2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at bat. All right, Heidi, thank you. Loriano on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. 
Now batting. Fire sets his sights. Here From comes the dead. first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The center fielder. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. Nope. And that misses one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Dude, Just run. behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way oh, to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, they're one strike away from being shut out through five. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Hit weakly back to the mound. Rolanda Olson will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So Ladies Josh James takes over to start please. the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Astros. Coming Number to the 39. plate now, Jurickson Profar. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The left fielder, number eight. So Robbie. digging in now, Robbie Grossman. Grossman. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. 0 and 1. Oh, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Next will be the designated now hitter, back. Chris Davis. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matt. He down on three pitches pretty much. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, George Leading Springer. He'll start things out in the sixth for the a lineup that really hasn't Joel. found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, All and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Olsen is over and he puts it away for the first out. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder Michael Brantley. The 0-1 pitch. In time to first and there are two away. Now batting. Ready for like another shot now. Jose okay. Altuve. He got called oh, out on strikes bad. his last time through. A ball and no strikes. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Turning for second is Altuve. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help win everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Alex Bregman is at the plate as he looks at ball one. That missed. Close. It's ball two. 
He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Can't keep that one fair either, and now the count is full. Altuve at second with two down. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Fouled away. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he struck him out. A 10-pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. One left for Houston. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. The A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Ready once again, Josh Begley. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. fouled off here's the one and two delivery and it's fouled away don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone three foul balls in a row he wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch swung on but it's pulled foul wide of third the one two swing and a miss at one in the dirt Chirinos recovers and the throw is in time Fegley is retired and there's one away the battle number ten so the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate Marcus Simeon he's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point and he fouls this one off one out nobody on slow roller down the third baseline but this will get foul for strike two into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's a fastball in on the fist and that'll even things up at two and two. Grounder down the line at third but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Digging in now Matt Chapman will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Owen won the count. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. One, two, three go the A's, but they hold a five nothing lead.
standing in, number 44. He doubled Lead earlier up. in the game, Astros. one for two to this point. It doesn't hitter. look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them the back into this one. The shortstop, Carlo Correa. The fastball here as you'll take a look That's at ball one, one and oh. The short hit hard, taken in by Simeon. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. The first pitch, so striding ten. forward now, Yuli Gurriel. He flew out in his Yuli last at bat. In there, 0 and 1. We're moving along late into this one, and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on Love it. Boy, Mark, that's the oldest Here trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. The 0 1 on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Guriel leads off first with a pair of outs in the Two inning. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Skied into straightaway right. Loriano sprinting after it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Astros leave one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Next up for the A's, Matt Olson. He'll Leading start off us off Atlanta. in the eighth. The first baseman. First pitch coming. Matt. Here it is. Olson. Nope. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. Now a swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Oh, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Lays off two and two now. The two two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Altuve has a play. One down. At the plate, Mark Tanna comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Throw, and he's called out on a close now play at first. Number but hold 22. on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. Into the box, Ramon Laureano. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. I always felt this was the toughest pitch for me to pick up. A good executed slider, and that's exactly what happened right there. You get an ugly swing. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. A's are gone. In Leading off the inning, Jake Marisnik. And they'll need him to get something going here. Chapman brings it in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, George Springer. He's gone helpless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Number 44 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Oh. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. 
Lofted in the air out toward right center. Loriano has a beat on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. And there left are the final field. numbers for the Oakland right starter. And he'll be Red very lead. happy with how the day went. Really strong outing, Matty V. Into the eighth inning without allowing a run. In line for the win, and he certainly deserves a good fate in this one. Hard to imagine he could pitch any better innings one through eight than he did in this one. One and one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Joe Smith enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Leading off for Oakland. Now with the plate, the Jurickson base. Profar. Jurickson. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Smith is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't oh, issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Fouled away. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? It's up onto the train tracks and out of here. A solo shot here off the bat of Jurickson Profar. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, based on the past performances of both teams, we thought it might end like this. This was a mismatch on paper before the game, and now it's a mismatch on the field during the game. The left fielder, number eight, Robbie Grossman. Stepping in now, Robbie Grossman. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 1 1 pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And he misses again, ball three. I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between 3-1 and 2-2, 2-2, you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Fastball too high, ball four. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Chris bat, Davis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Chris. last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Oh, 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command. 1 and 2.
ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ready now, now Josh Fegley. In the terms catcher. of previous meetings Josh. with Joe Smith, just a Fegley. couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First delivery to him on the Be way. Right. Well behind on that one. fastball. It's a swinging strike. You got to throw that one out the window if you're an offensive player right there. You know this guy is predominantly a sinker ball pitcher. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Marisnik back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now at the plate, Marcus Semyon. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Grossman is off a of first with two away. Hit down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. The A's add on to their lead with the solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Astros. It's the A's six and the Astros nothing. Next up for the Strohs, Jose Altuve. He's going to lead things off Leading in their off half of the Astros. ninth as they try to the afford the reason. dreaded shutout. Jose. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Here's the one and one delivery. Shoots this one over to first. To his right, Olsen. And a step on first himself for the out. And that will bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. One ball, no strikes to count. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Now, an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Hopped up. Simeon moving to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter. Now at the number plate, 44. number 44. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. And that's taken for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. He pulls this one into right. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The two out hit means Carlos Correa will bat this inning. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled now that heater it. coming inside right there. Didn't oh. do too much damage with it, Go but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Ball one to start the at bat. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first big pitch, hey, this might 10. be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling Andy offensively L. and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball heading for the scoreboard near the Crawford boxes. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's a 6-1 game. Now a throw homeward is offline. My goodness. And he is out at the plate. Trying to get a little too greedy when he didn't need to be, and this ball game is over. Six to one, the final tally today. The Athletics jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Fires pitches well enough to get the W. Justin Verlander takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics, six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.